This video is an introduction to Flutter files for viewers. Viewer accounts are unlimited and are for everyone within your organization that doesn't create or edit your important drawings or documents. To get started, I will simply click login such that the web application is loaded. Once loaded, I enter my login credentials. There are three library views. All three libraries function in the same manner. The first library that is displayed is the main drawing library. As you can see, a list of my drawings are shown. Along the right side, a preview of each drawing is shown. I can scroll through the properties or through the preview images. If I select a drawing property, the corresponding preview is highlighted. If I click on a preview image, then the appropriate drawing property is selected. The drawing properties can be ordered by clicking in the table header. I can also hide or show more properties by right clicking on the header view and selecting the appropriate column that I would like to hide or display. To find a specific drawing, I will enter a query into the top right search box. A general description of the drawings works great. The preview images are only shown for the resulting items. Thus, I can select the preview item and the corresponding properties are also selected. If I would like to search by a specific property, that is also possible by entering the property name, colon, and then the search value. Once I have found the appropriate drawing, I simply double click the drawing to display it. The drawing is now loaded into the viewer. Within the viewer, there are multiple options. I can change the zoom. If there are previous versions, I can display those. I can request a new revision, which will send a notification to all creators within my organization. I can highlight the changes that have occurred since the previous revision, which will reload the viewer with the highlighted version. I can display any document attachments, if any exist. I can download the actual PDF or print the drawing. I can also change the size of the viewer. I simply click the up arrow button to make the viewer full size, click again to minimize the viewer, and I can click the X button to completely hide the viewer. Assemblies are collections of drawings or documents arranged in a hierarchy. There are two different ways to view the assemblies. The assembly library contains each assembly that exists. The folder view in the bottom left displays only the top level assemblies. The view groups your top assemblies into folders and displays the hierarchy for each top assembly. I click on the top level assembly and the hierarchy is displayed. I can now display the entire assembly by clicking on an item. Once loaded, I can click an item within the hierarchy to jump directly to its location within the assembly. If you would like more detail about the drawing within the assembly, right click the item and select View Drawing. Now that we are displaying the drawing, let's share this drawing externally by clicking Share along the top menu. This will create a link and then send the link and password I provide to each email address that I enter. External sharing works with not just drawings, but documents and assemblies as well in the same manner. To delete the share, I can right click and select Unshare. Once the item is shared, I can access the shared properties by clicking on Dashboard and then Shared Items. From here, I can add additional email addresses. I can view the external link and I can also delete the shared item from here as well. Revision control is built directly into Flutter files. As you can see, this drawing is currently checked out. If I double click to view this drawing, a message will appear indicating the checked out state. Anytime someone views this drawing or an assembly that contains the drawing, the message will appear. This doesn't prevent someone from using the current version, but it provides them with the information such that they can contact the appropriate person within your organization about the drawing. The drawing I have now selected has been submitted for review. I happen to be the person selected as the reviewer for this drawing. Thus I have an unread notification in my dashboard. As you can see the notification appears with an option for me to accept or reject the revision. I can submit questions or comments about this review directly to the person that submitted it from within this notification.
To display the revision, I simply click Show. Once the review is complete, I will click Accept. At this point, the notification will now appear in everyone's dashboard, and any assemblies that contain this drawing will be updated with this latest version. This video has shown most of the capabilities for viewers using Flatter Files. All of your company's important drawings, documents, and assemblies are fully searchable and viewable now by everyone within your company. In addition, you are notified anytime you try to view an item that is checked out such that you don't mistakenly use an item that is being modified, and you are able to review submitted revisions as necessary. For more information about Flatter Files, please visit flatterfiles.com.